FA Cup replays are to be scrapped from the 24-25 <laughs> season. Uh, from the first round of next season of part of a six-year agreement with the Premier League to strengthen the domestic competition, the FA announced on Thursday. Can you tell us any more about this, Gab? Yeah, so this is, was a, a, a consultation between uh, the, the Premier League and, and the FA, who organise the club, uh, the, the, the Cup. Obviously, the Premier League are, in many ways, a distinct organisation, and they have to agree. I think traditionalists will say, well, you know, we lose the magic of the Cup replay and, you know, the chance to, to go and play at, at, at Old Trafford or, or the Emirates or whatever. Um, that's probably true, but I think... It's also worth remembering that they they scrapped replays from the fifth round onwards, um, and and they made other concessions like they're they're only going to have weekends where you only play FA Cup football, um, you know, not it's a combination of FA Cup and Premier League football, like the one we're getting up coming up this weekend. So, you know, traditionalists will be angry about it, but personally, um, I think it was pretty much inevitable given the fixture congestion. Do you like it, Nader? Um, do you know what? I personally like it, as is the case with Gab, but I've spoken to lots of people who, you know, have a real fondness for teams that play in the Football League. And as a consequence, they, when this conversation has been happening throughout the season, they've said it's like preposterous. They were saying, well, these days are magic days for us, getting a chance to go and, go and play at these big stadiums, say, finding that result at home as a significant underdog. And obviously that is a nuanced argument in itself because you want a replay when there are two League One sides playing against each other, for example. But I think this is a real significant change. And the fact that you're hearing from the FA, the fact that you're hearing from the Premier League, like I'm sure there'll be people from that football pyramid who are very passionate about their clubs and their leagues who feel like they've been let down in this moment and the tournament is now drifting towards, you know, just the Premier League's being able to benefit as such. And not least of all, when we but make the talk about fixture congestion, which is a real thing, which is a real thing, in the Football League, like they do play 46 games in this season as well. Right. So they are getting a lot of fixtures in. And I understand, as I say, I understand the arguments. And personally, I like it. But there are going to be lots of people within England who are going to be very, very disappointed with it. Go ahead, Gab. No, I, no, I just want to say quickly, um, Nathan made a great point there. But um, about the whole thing is people talk about, oh, I want the replay. I want a chance to go play it at Anfield or whatever. So... Yeah, you know, that's great that you want the chance, but if you look at it purely from a sporting perspective, um, this is better for the smaller clubs, right? Because if you don't have a replay, then it's easier for the smaller clubs to advance because in 90 minutes, anything can happen. And over 180 minutes, Man City and Liverpool or whatever are likely to win. So I, it's one of those things where often it is actually, I think, about money um, and some of these smaller clubs you know, wanting to have, uh, because of the way the money is distributed in the FA Cup, they want to play at Old Trafford because they get 15% of a gigantic gate. Uh, and, and it's factors like that, rather than just, you know, what are my team's chances of advancing? Because clearly without replays, it favors um, the, the smaller lower division clubs.